Good morning, Watershed. It's five o'clock at my home in San Antonio, and you're coming with me to Waco, Texas, to see my man, Kenneth Jones. Buckle up. That burrito was not good. It just doesn't live up to Irene's counter. The McDowell's have a gas station in Arizona and Irene makes the best burritos. I miss them. So since I have some time on my hands, I figured I'd answer the most common question I hear in the field. What is the difference between Alt and MIT? The MIT that you're about to meet was recruited from outside of the company with the intention and with the focus that they will become a site manager within a three to six month window. That's how long the training program is. Some people need six months, some people need three months, but during that time we identify that they're able to fit into our culture, understand our policies, and live out the watershed way. So that's what that's what MITs are. Alt, on the other hand, is, is basically, we identify employees that are within our system already and we see them as leaders and we want them to grow as fast as they can. They're as fast as they want to, as fast as they can, and there's no restrictions on when they can get promoted to the next level. Uh, it's just a program where you're able to be in the driver's seat, like I am, and you're able to grow as fast as you want. Uh, but it's all internal instead of the external side of the MIT program where we, where we recruit people in. Uh, Alt is really just for the people that we have internally and uh, we want to see them grow as, as fast as they want to. And that's it. Now hiring awesome people? Heck yeah, we are. Oh, look who it is. Well, hello. Man of the hour. What's up, What's Kenny? Up? Dude, good. Stephen, Kenny. How are you doing? Doing good. Are you ready to graduate or what? Absolutely. Let's go. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's do it. Hey guys, I got Stephen Montano here and Kenneth Jones, the man that we've all been waiting for today. Uh, Kenny, you're about to graduate the MIT program, but I want them to get to know you just a little bit more before we get into that part. Um, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I was raised in Colorado, um, and after after I graduated high school, I decided to join the army. Uh, I spent about seven and a half years in the army, and then thank you. Seven and a half years is a long time. It's it went, it went by pretty quick. I'll yeah. tell you that. But um, um, after the seven and a half year, well, about seven years, and I, I realized that the army was just it was going a different way I didn't like, sure. and so um, I. I met Mason um, through the army, and he was telling me he's like, "Hey, I've worked in this awesome company." Yeah. I was like, "Okay, um, you think maybe um, I could utilize my CSP?" Um, what is CSP? It's the Crew Skills Program. Okay. So the army offers it um, for soldiers that are getting out of the army. Okay. Um, to help them transition okay, into cool. that's awesome. Into the civilian world. Yeah. So, um, so uh, Mason's like, "Oh, I'll see. I'll see what I'll see what I can do." So um, I met with. Um, uh, Mark, uh, H, and then I, uh, in February I met with um, Stephen and yourself, and um, after all was done, I got like a second round interview with uh, Stephen, and then I came down. The April, rest was history. I know. I came yeah. down April 27th, and then. There you go. Um, six months later. Six, six, months, six months later. Six months later. You're overnight yeah. success. So. so tell us a little bit about the program. Like, I mean, going not just this, yet, not, not the other one, uh, the MIT program. How was that for you? Did you enjoy it? How has this process been for you? Um, honestly, the, the MIT program, I, I've learned a lot. Um, and I think, I think honestly, I feel like a lot of CSRs should be able to... Um, no, that's, just, actually, that's like, actually why we have the ALT program now. So, And we yeah. were talking about that on the ride here, as you guys all are yourself, that the MIT and ALT are just, they're different because of where they came from. What's the origin of that employee? Are they a part of our team because they just joined us and now they're able to excel as fast as they can? Mm -hmm. And then there's the MIT, which is more like the recruitment of outside resources to join us. So those are the two differences, but they're very, very close to one another. Yeah. I, I think with the MIT, I mean, I liked it a lot. Um, I learned I learned a lot, especially about um, different ways to lead people. Um, I, you know, there's things I've taken from taken from the army and things I've taken from yeah. Watershed, combine them together. Sure. It's made me my own. Type of leader. Yeah. 
Um, so wait, talk about that for just another second. I love that what you told me earlier is like you you got skill sets from the army, but then you also have what you learned from watershed, and now you're like you're like kind of merging the two because mm -hmm. civilian life and, and military are way different. And absolutely. so now you're kind of merging this idea of who Kenny is as a as a leader. Um, absolutely. So I like to take. I mean, there's little things that you take from other leaders, yeah. and you. You take and you put it in your toolbox, yeah. and then there's things you're like, there's things that you go like this. This tool sucks, and you just <laughs> throw it out the window. Yeah. Um, and you know the, the army has a lot of that. Um, a lot of leaders I've met in the army, have, I've taken yeah. some of the things they've taught me, and then um, there's things here in the MIT program that I've taken and awesome. and ran with. You yeah. know? I love that. Yeah. Hey, so you know, Stephen, as training Kenny for the last six months, uh, how have you seen him grow, and and do you think he's do you think he's ready for this? Uh, for sure. Yeah. No, he's. Kenny is uh, well equipped to be a site manager. Um, you know, Mason is the one that trained Kenny the whole way. I was just coming in, checking on him, seeing how the how the program was going. Yeah. Mason did a great job yeah. uh, investing his time into Kenny. Great job, Mason. Yeah, Mason did an amazing job. So I think the one thing that um, I'm I'm always wanting to be aware of, um, especially for someone in MIT, is what's the pushback? What old habits or different yeah. habits do we yeah. have to either shake or uh, ground them into our watershed yeah. way. And uh, Kenny has such an open mind and um, getting into the way the processes and systems and the way we serve people yeah. was uh, very easy, it seemed like, for, for Kenny. I love that. He just took all the ideas and, and Mason you know, grew and, and uh, watered these ideas. Uh, and now he's just, I, I would say, yes, he's very, very ready I to take on that. the site. So you never caught him doing drills in in the tunnel of like you know military drills like climbing underneath the brushes or anything like that. As much as he wanted to, I'm sure. Uh, no, no, no. Good. He's, no he stuck to the he stuck to the policies procedures. Okay, good. Oh okay, yeah, good. yeah. Taking like contact yeah. From, from the there, apps. You know? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, like taking hits. Yeah. Um, so Kenny, how are you feeling? Do you think that you're now ready to run a site? Because San Angelo is opening like by the end of this year, so it's coming. Um, yeah, I think I think I'm ready, but there's absolutely um, there's things that. Uh, just like everyone that they need to learn yeah, yeah. Um, just like I mean I'm in Waco right now learning DRB. DRB, yep. so um, I think I'm ready to lead um, and grow other individuals nice. um, but when it comes to like the technical side of things uh, this is gonna be a little rough for me though. and I remember what Vince said, Vince told me and I, it blew us all away because Vince has been with our company now for 15 years or in the industry for that long and this guy knows just about everything about car washing and he still to this day is still learning things every single day so like we're never done. Like you're not just because you're graduating MIT doesn't mean you're done learning. You're you're still in it just as much as Stephen and I are, and and we're excited for you. I'm I'm stoked. Honestly. Good. I can't I can't wait, dude. I've, well, congratulations. You're out of MIT, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. You're done. San Angelo, here we come. Well, this is an awesome backdrop to end the video, so I had to pull over and take it. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Uh, I just want to express my gratitude for uh, Steven and Kenny. Uh, I'm always reminded of how special it is for an MIT to graduate. It's like this ending of a trial for them. It's the commitment from the company saying, you are the site manager. It's a, such a special moment that we were able to have today. There were so many conversations that were held off camera, obviously, uh, but it, it's such a special moment for uh, Kenny and for myself. Um, I recently got to hang out with Mason Campbell, who also graduated, and just reminds me of all the greats in Oklahoma and in Texas, uh, these MITs that graduate from the program. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, see you next time.